All right, YouTube, this is Detroit's HPTV coming to you out of Detroit. I got a local story. It's about a missing teenage girl. She's 13 years old. Her name is Naziah. With all the things going on in the media, we get to forget. I mean, we tend to forget what's really going on around us. Like this 13 year old girl been missing for a minute and ain't nobody really talking about it. I mean, we know we talking about immigration, we talking about crime, but there's a human aspect to this that we gotta pay attention to. So I want you to look at this story and look at this girl out of Detroit. She's only 13 and she's been missing for almost a, yeah, a little over a month now. Check the story out. That's for Fair Use since 1976 Copyright Act. It's January 9th. Zaya Harris was last seen in the area of Cornwall Street in Three Mile, right near East. Hold on. East Warren and Outer Drive. Tonight, police and her family are pleading for clues. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Back here, here at home tonight, Detroit police conducting a grid search in hopes of finding a 13-year-old girl who's been missing now since January 9th. Zaya Harris was last seen in the area of Cornwall Street and Three Mile, tonight, right Detroit near police East Warren and Outer here. Drive. Tonight, police and her family are pleading for clues. Rod Maloney, live on the story for us. Rod, are officers still out there? No, they, they did their canvas and have left, but they have promised that they're going to have continued searches that could even span far beyond Wayne County. Now, here is the flyer they were handing out today. Naziah Harris is the young girl, the 13-year-old that they're looking for. We spoke to her grandmother, Annette, this afternoon, along with police. This is what she had to say. I want my baby home. And I'm asking in the name of Jesus, yes. and I stand on my faith that he's going to bring her home. With the help of Drone 4, we see Detroit police today fanning out across the east side neighborhood near Shoemaker and Garland, looking for Naziah Harris, 13 years old, 5 foot 2, weighing 130 pounds. Detroit Public Schools police saying the 8th grader left Joseph E. Clark Prep Academy on January 9th, made it off the bus near her grandmother's home on Three Mile Avenue in Cornwall, which is about four miles away from today's search scene. Officers, police dogs, and cadets alike knocked on doors and did a grid search. We have debriefed on a number of different factors. We're hopeful that we find her uh, well, um, but, you know, we can't operate on hope. We have to operate on information, investigation, uh, and work, and that's what we're here uh, to do today. And if this looks like the operation that led to Detroit police and the FBI finding winner Nicole Smith's body last year, it's because Detroit police now confirm the same kind of information that led them to that body is what prompted their efforts here. Annette Harris knows full well more than a month after her granddaughter's disappearance, a search like this is ominous. Still. And we're asking anybody that has any information I don't like how this sounds because if they if the if the police is saying that they know it's a serial killer out here then say that you know what i mean and to really discard this young girl's life and to not be more forthcoming or empathetic with it look how casual he was look how casual they are about this situation. Let's listen to the grandma. Any information, I don't care who it is, please come forth, contact the police department. Her life could be in danger. So now, Daryl Woods was the, is a police commissioner with the city of Detroit. He's offering $1,000. Crime Stoppers was here. They also offer rewards. And like Annette said, they're looking for any and all information they can get. If you have anything, call Detroit Police. Reporting live on the east side, Rod Malone, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Rod. Detroit Police tonight. Rod, Rod First of all,
he offering a thousand dollars. That's his that that's like the least he could go. And then he was acting like he wasn't even interested. You know what I mean? Like, here go another one. I'm going to play this one back. I hope this is about the same 13-year-old girl. Leading the search for a teenager middle schooler who disappeared last month in an unusual display of force this afternoon, DPD, Detroit Public Schools, police, and cadets did a grid search. They went door-to-door, -door, handing out flyers, hoping to find Nyaya Harris. This investigation is picking up in intensity. Local force Rob Maloney joins us now live this evening from the area police searched with for the latest for Nyaya's family. Rod? Yeah, they were all over this neighborhood, uh, Kim, uh, Karen, excuse me. And this is the flyer that they were handing out, Naziah Harris, uh, black female, age 13, five foot, 230 pounds. And there is a real desperate belief uh, that she could be found. And that's what her grandmother, an adoptive grandmother, Annette Harris, told me today. We can't rule anything out, you know, and I'm hoping and praying that that is not the case. I'm standing on my face. The God is going to bring my baby home, but um, it's been really rough. Naziah's mother found herself in trouble, and Annette adopted Naziah to provide a better life. Neither Annette nor Detroit police can figure out how Naziah, an eighth grader at Joseph Clark Prep Academy, disappeared in the short steps from her bus stop to Annette's home. They have, uh, you know, footage of her getting on the school bus, and the bus driver did say that she did get off at her regular stop, okay? Um, and she was supposed to be coming home, like she normally do, every day. Detroit Public Schools police started the investigation on January 10th, the day Annette reported her missing. But they hit a roadblock this week and brought Detroit police into the case. When a child is missing, you got to look everywhere. Um, I had no idea that it was going to be here. I was just told that this is where it was going to be. So this is a 13-year-old girl in the Zaya? So they searched here at Shoemaker and Garland on the east side, about four miles away from where she disappeared. And Annette Harris has a message for the person or persons who may know what happened to her granddaughter. Naziah needs to be home with her family, and we love her. So if you are harboring her, there is a law for that. And I'm asking that whoever, whoever has any information about my granddaughter to please contact the police. Please, I'm begging you. Now, the Detroit Public Schools Police Department chief told me today that he doesn't believe that she was abducted, but they cannot be sure. So they've called in Detroit police. They've also asked the FBI and the Michigan State Police to join them. Take one last look here at Naziah Harris. If you know where she is, DPD wants to hear from you. Reporting live on the east side, Rod Malone, Local 4. So hope we can get some leads on this. All right. Thank you, Ron. Anyone in the United States. Okay. So you can see what we're dealing with in Detroit. Like, and we, and, and it is what it is. It's like, anybody know anything about where this girl is? Notify the police and whatever. You know what I mean? Because did you see the first? clip I showed you where they know that another girl was found out deceased compare the stories that I just shown you out of the clips and let's be more aware let's be more alert since you are Detroit you know what I mean keep your head on a swivel and pay attention and look into this story peace